To continue with our series on Panamanian cuisine, we will be making carimagnolas. First thing you have to do is um, put some water to boil, and you want to add a little, some salt. You want to add pieces of yuca. You want to make sure these cook for at least 20 to 30 minutes until they are actually transparent, because this is what we're going to use to make the dough for the carimagnolas. While the yuca is cooking, we're going to work on the filling. First, you're going to use, um, put the pan to get hot. Once your pan is hot, you're going to add some oil, about a tablespoon. Make sure it's really hot. Next step, we're going to add onion and minced garlic. Okay, you want to make sure you don't burn them. Just turn the stove down a little bit once it gets hot enough. You're going to saute them until the onions are translucent. Once the onions and garlic are translucent, you're going to add the ground beef. Make sure you mash the ground beefs. Okay, at this point you want to add thyme. You can also substitute with, with oregano. Uh, just a little pinch. Next, you're going to add salt. Okay. You add a salt to taste. Add some black pepper. Mix it up. Just have to keep stirring so the ground beef browns on all sides. Once it's completely brown, you will add the tomato sauce. You can always adjust, add more salt, more pepper to taste. Okay, as you can see, this is the consistency we want. Make sure that um, you can see the bottom of the pan, there's no more liquid, and this will make a perfect filling. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the stove off, let it cool, so you can handle it for the filling of the carimagnolas. Once your yuca is soft and translucent, you're going to remove the yuca from the water and put them in a bowl. We want to remove carefully, and you know, it's hot, we want to remove the center string that is in there. I just want to set it aside. So you, that is very hard, so you want to take that out before you start mashing. So you mash it all the way. And you should always do this when it's hot. Once the yuca is already mashed and cool, you want to create a dough with that. Okay, as you see, we took the yuca, mashed, and we just made the dough. Okay, then you want to, once you make the dough, you set it aside for it to cool because you want to make sure the dough is completely cool so you can handle it and make the carimagnolas. Okay, as you can see now, the, we have the filling, it's cool, and we have the dough. Okay. First thing we want to do is take a piece of the dough, you know, we can make these as big or small as you want. This one I'm going to just make it smaller. You're going to make it into a ball, okay? Just roll it. Okay. Then you want to press it down. Oh, if it's thick, make sure you get some water to wet your hand so the dough doesn't stick. You're going to take a spoon and add some filling in the middle. 
as much or little as you want, depending on the size that you're making. Okay, you don't want to put too much. And then you're going to Then the next step we would do, I usually like to put them in the refrigerator. Let them get cool and so the dough is a lot more um, easy to um, handle when you're frying them. Now we're going to fry the carimignolas. Make sure you put them carefully in the fryer. Now, as you can see, the carimignolas are golden brown. I'm going to just put them and the, let them rest on a paper towel. And um, you want to see the inside of one of them. You should see. See how crispy and crunchy it is. And then on the inside, here's the meat. You can see how they look on the inside. Soft in the inside and crunchy on the outside. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to see you for another class in Panamanian cooking and enjoy your carimagnolas.